what are you doing to better yourself overall? Because regardless of if you become a pro athlete or not, the ball's gonna stop bouncing at some point in time. I fell in love with sports at a very young age. I loved watching sports on TV with my dad and my mom. I loved playing sports outside. My mom was outside with me, pitching to me when I was two, three, four years old, trying to hit baseballs. When I was in sixth grade, I told my dad I wanted to dunk. He bought me a weight vest and he said, very simply, if you want to be able to jump higher, you got to jump with this on. It wasn't a secret to it. it for him, it was get, put, strap the weight vest to yourself, jump up and down on this little ledge we had in my backyard, and then your jumping will improve. And that was a very simplistic way, obviously, for me to improve my jumping, but that's what I started with. I strapped the weight vest to myself. I jumped up and down on that damn ledge for two and a half years. I tried to dunk with the weight vest on as I got closer and closer, and then by eighth grade, I was able to get my first dunk, which was my goal. And I think once you're able to accomplish a goal like that, a goal that seems so far-fetched as a sixth grader, it really puts things into perspective on how much hard work, working not just hard, but the correct way, um, can do for you. For me, I was one of those guys that was kind of under the radar. I wasn't always at the top of the recruiting list. I wasn't always at the top of the prospect list. Um, I had to work really hard, uh, especially on my athleticism uh, and vertical jump, things of that nature, in order to kind of show scouts and front offices that I could compete at the highest of levels. And when you're able to find ways to get in shape, to condition your body, to build that endurance and that stamina, um, then it's a lot easier to have success within the sport as you're honing in your other skills. I think a lot of kids say they want to be a pro, but they don't understand what actually goes into being a pro athlete as far as the hard work and the dedication. They say they want to be a pro, but on Friday nights they're out with their friends at a party or doing different things. When you gotta, if you really want to be a pro, sometimes you gotta make those sacrifices and continue to try to better yourself. We don't want to look at the weaknesses. We want to always look at the strengths. We want. You know, if you come in second place, third place, fourth place, you still want to get a trophy, you want to be included. But as you get older and as you get farther down the line in athletics, I mean, it's the real world. There's winners and there's losers. There's strengths and there's weaknesses. And you're only as strong as your greatest weakness. It's all about continuing to use your genetic makeup and try to maximize it. Try to be the best that you can be. One of the things my mom always said to me since I was a young kid was be your best. Don't try to be somebody else's best. Don't try to compare yourself to somebody else. Um, at the end of the day, you gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, can you be your best? I would say defeating the odds and being able to accomplish things that people tell you you were never going to uh, is what helps and continues to drive me to this day. That chip on my shoulder, that um, doubt that people tend to put on what I can accomplish athletically continues to make me want to prove them wrong. I want to be successful in the NBA. I want to have an NBA career I can look back on and be proud of and satisfied with overcoming the adversity, overcoming the doubt, overcoming the hate, if you will, that people never thought I would be able to even make it to the NBA, let alone have success in the NBA, let alone have a 10-year career in the NBA. I think to be able to look back and not just say you got a cup of coffee in the NBA, you, you were an NBA player. You solidified what it means to be an NBA player. Um, and I want to make sure I never forget where I came from. I think for me, it's about the people and places that have got me to this point. And without them, I wouldn't be at this point. So staying involved and staying friends with the kids I grew up with and the people that I've been close with my entire life is really important for me because at the end of the day, doing all this is great and it's fulfilling for myself because it's a dream that I always had. But What's the point of it if you can't share with the people that kind of helped get you to this point? <laughs>